All right, the first one I'm going to show you today is DX Lab Suite. Now, this is a free logging software. Um, there's a lot to offer here. There's seven different modules you can download. You don't have to download them all. You only have to download the ones that you'll use. And I'm going to go through these modules kind of fairly quickly just to give you a little overview. The first module is the command module. Now, when you open that, that's going to give command of your radio. As I turn my dial, you're going to see that go. Um, so it's really cool to be able to control your radio right from your computer on your command module. So let me close out of that. Now we have DX Keeper. This is going to be your actual logging software that they have in there. Now I uploaded my log in here to show you all my uh, logs. You can put in the call down here. Enter call. And then you'd go into edit and you can put that you sent a QSL card or you received a QSL card and it will track all that for you. If they're in yellow, let me spread that out, they, they're an LOTW user. If they're in pink, they're an eQSL user. And if they're in light blue, they use both. So you can add a glance no in, in your logs. So it's kind of handy knowing right away um, if you need to send them a card or if you see that they're a LOTW user, just sit and wait for that to show up. Now as it tracks and you record that you've got your QSL cards or it's going to swap back and forth between LOTW and upload the latest QSLs. But in the meantime, you can always hit this check your progress and uh, it's going to give you your progress for your DXCC challenge, uh, worked all zones, IOTA, worked all counties, worked all states, you know, all these different contests uh, or awards that you may be chasing. So if we look at my DXCC progress, I want to remove all my filters so it looks at the entire log. And uh, you'll see there, let me spread this out a little more. And there's every all the countries I've uh, worked either have it worked or confirmed so like I have uh, Malta confirmed on Ritty uh, but only worked on CW I do not have it confirmed yet um, so that gives you a nice little tracking there and when you get down to the bottom it gives you your total so I have 297 worked 261 confirmed so I have to get going and get those other 36 confirmed also, you can filter this what, in real time, what you need, uh, and just look at everything that's not worked. Uh, maybe you're on 17 meters today and you just want to work on countries you need. You do not worked. Let's hit 17 meters. Uh, let's do phone only. And everybody I need um, on phone. And then I print my report. And there's every, all the countries I need on 17 phone right now. So it's very nice as you can go really into depth with anything you want to do. If you're doing the marathon or IOTA, there's all different things you can chase on here in different reports. Uh, I don't have IOTA enabled or the marathon enabled, but you know, you can enable that and then that will track that for you as well. Also, it will upload your stuff to LOTW, club log, uh, things like that. You can set that all up. You can set up different uh, things from your QTH, so it'll automatically put that in there. You can also do your QSL cards, design your QSL cards from here and print them off. Uh, you can even print off envelopes. You can also import. If you use a contest software, you'll be able to import with ease uh, an ADIF file or any of these popular contest software, uh, contesting softwares like write log, things like that. And then when you're getting ready to import, before you hit the import button, you can even pick the contest. So it'll track that for you. And then you would start your import and then it'll take you to wherever you want to find your file that you have stored uh, somewhere on your hard drive and import that in. Same thing with export. You can at any point export all your QSOs or even just go through and filter out just QSOs since yesterday. And I've hit the since date, and those are the only the car the people I've worked since yesterday, and that I want to export. And it says the logs filtered, and I do not want to remove the filter, so I put a no, and then I can hit start export and just save new. And uh, there's my three 
things exported, ready to be uploaded wherever I want to upload it. So DX Keeper is very, very handy. Um, there's also DX uh, View. Um, I really don't utilize this, but um, if you put in the call signs, it's going to give you headings, all kinds of different things um, that you can uh, utilize to work this guy and what headings and um, short path, long path, things like that. DX View. Also, there's Pathfinder. Uh, this is where you can put in um, call signs and it'll bring up their information for you, say on QRZ, and there they are right there for you. Propagation view, if we put in latitude and longitude, this is my latitude and longitude, or you put in someone's grid square, it automatically puts in their latitude and longitude and you can predict how you can work them on which band. And there's, I can only work them on 40, 60, and 80. Uh, that's my old QTH I put in the grid square for, and at these times when I'm going to have the best propagation to work them. So, and you can predict long path or short path, uh, so that's pretty handy, uh, especially if you're chasing uh, certain rare DX. Uh, this is another one of my favorite features I use. It'll connect to the cluster for you. You can preset up your favorite clusters in the configuration, um, and uh, it's going to just start uh, showing everything that's spotted. Anything in red is I need it on that band or as an all-time new one. Anything in blue I've never worked that call sign on that band before. I may have worked this gentleman on a different band. Um, and I even have it set up so you can hear it'll announce a DX for you so if you're watching TV or something else uh, just crank your speakers and uh, you're in the other room and it'll tell you who's on and it, only the stuff that you need it will announce and uh, right now I have it set up to just show me now the stuff I need they're all in red and let's wait for a new one to come up these were all yesterday 30 meters CW there you go a lot of cool things on here and this last option is wind warbler haven't really used this so I'm not a PSK 31 person but if you are uh, I'm sure this is pretty cool for you to utilize so uh, that's a really nice feature and what's really nice about this if you do ever need help with this there's a really good reflector where people answer your questions very quickly uh, the gentleman who wrote this software is great to work with and he will uh, help you with any issues you have so and it's free that's the the most wonderful thing about DX Lab Suite.